Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be unboxing the HG Gundam The Origin Act Zaku Cassilia's Forces version. So yes, it's yet again another HG The Origins Zaku kit, but in this case, it's a totally new kit, I'd imagine, except for the joints, and I think pretty much everything else in this kit is going to be new. Uh, it's sort of similar looking to a Zaku, but as you can see from a lot of the parts, uh, they obviously can't really use anything too much else, but I guess the shoulder armor might be reused. We'll have to see. Again, I don't really know how they would go about that, uh, reworking the runners just to be able to use the shoulders from the shoulder armor from a previous kit. I think they'll probably just throw that onto a new runner. So we'll see when we open up the box. Anyway, big thank you to ASA Gundam Store for supplying me with this kit to share with you guys. As you guys may well know, I love the HG The Origin line. They're always really great kits. Super nicely detailed, really good construction, the articulation of them is fantastic, and just overall really good kits for the money, so highly recommend these kits just in general, this line, and I'm sure this kit will be no different, so I'm looking forward to checking this one out. The Axaku is a really interesting, cool design, as well as some cool weapons, it's got this really interesting kind of Gatling gun thing here, and then this new version of the Heat Hawk, which is cool, you kind of get tired, a little bit bored of the standard Heat Hawk, so this new version uh, is a nice, pleasant change to that. So, going around to the side of the box, we can see this is number 20 in the line. On the bottom of the box here, we just got a standing photo of the painted kit. One thing that I don't particularly like about the Akizaku is the feet. The feet are a little bit clown shoe-ish looking to me. They're a little bit large. I know like Zaku feet are usually like that, but they, they kind of flow together with the shape of the Zaku legs. That's the, the legs and the feet don't really flow as well for me. Uh, with this design, but still a really cool design overall. Here you can see some information on that. Really tiny print there, but we do have some information there in Japanese and English about the story. And then here about the MSD line. So this is from the Mobile Suit Discovery line, which is basically the Origins version of MSV. So basically, as I understand it, it's from the canon designs, but they don't actually appear in the origin animation. So that's kind of the thing with these. So we have the large heat hawk, and I guess it comes with two of those which is cool. I hope that's right, because it would be awesome to have two of those. And then the regular Heat Hawk is included as well, if you want to use that. I'm kind of meh. Now, why would you want to use that? But hey, if you do, that's cool. It has the shield, and it has the quadruple mount machine gun. So that's what it is. Not a Gatling gun, just a quadruple mount machine gun. So basically, uh, four Zaku machine guns in one. And then it has the same kind of gimmicks you would expect from the other different kits. Some nice ankle movement, some nice hip movement. You can move the mono eye. Has some different hands. I'm guessing it's going to be the same hands that we've seen in past versions. Uh, holding hands, one open hand and one trigger finger. And then the custom markings around on that. It has the same little bump on the head like the Cassilia's version Zaku 1. And then uh, list price of 2001. Speaking of the Zaku 1, you can see one here on the box art right there. So... That would be that it has, I guess, Cassilia's versions uh, always have this black color scheme and the little bump on the head. So let's get this opened up. Right off the bat, some nice stickers there. Thanks for that. Who needs water slides, am I right? Getting into some more joint parts uh, and those are going to be looking very familiar. So the same joint parts we've seen in a lot of the other HD Origin kits, polycaps, backpack parts. Those also look familiar, probably. We'll take a look at those. And then just some more of the joints and the same hand and heat hawk parts that we've seen in other kits as well. So let's find the manual here. And the top of the manual, as usual, just the same box art there. On the bottom, though, some nice information about that. Uh, nice images of the fully painted kit there, front and back. Again, some more information there in Japanese and English if you want to check that out. And then going around to the back, we have some information about the backpack, the large heat hawk, the field motor. So the field motor, I guess, is something that was already used by the EFF, and then Xeon uh, Forces then integrated that into this mobile suit. I don't really know exactly what that is, but I guess it's a joint drive system. So I guess it's maybe similar to like the magnetic coating used by the Gundam later, I guess, to kind of help with the mobility of the mobile suit, possibly? It's just a little bit of Gundam lore that I guess I'll have to read up on. So anyway, here's the markings here at the bottom, where all of those are going to go around on the kit. And it looks like... Probably you're gonna have to do some painting if you want to have your heat hawks actually lit up orange like that Because it seems like out of the box are just gonna be gray uh, Looking at the parts I didn't see any orange or clear parts there and no stickers for those either that I saw so uh, You're gonna have to do some painting for that here uh, is the color guide down at the bottom It has the weaponry re weaponry listed there uh, yellow part there 50% yellow 30% white orange yellow 20% Anyway, for our parts list, we've got a lot of leftover parts there on the joints, so this is going to have some new joints. It looks like in the legs, I think, is where those go, is from what I can tell, straight off the bats. Otherwise, construction going to be pretty normal. Body, head, 
waist, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, back around to the color pages for the backpack. Backpack and side skirts, I guess, are kind of constructed together at the same time as that. Then the body is done. Then the large heat hawk is pretty much just two parts there put together. The regular heat hawk is just one part. And then the quadruple mount machine gun here, a few parts going into that. How to attach all the parts and then how to attach it onto an action base. And let's get a look at the runners. All right, so once again, here is the sticker sheet, just a couple options for the mono eye, and then just a whole bunch of numbers and Xeon markings here. Some Cassilius forces, special markings, but as I found from my experience, these stickers don't really look good, especially on dark plastic. So against this black plastic, I don't think these stickers are gonna look very good at all. I'll throw a couple on the kit so you guys can see how that looks in the review, but I'm pretty sure these are gonna be pretty much unusable if you want your kit to, to not look like it's just got stickers on it. PC001 for our polycaps here, just in standard gray color. Runner A1 is a totally new runner here, molded in four different colors, specifically for the Aktazaku. So here we've got some in that kind of softer plastic, regular standard gray color for the piping. Uh, kind of very dark gray, almost black color here for some parts for around on the kit, as well as parts there for the feet. A kind of warm gray here for some parts for the thighs, the arms, and then that kind of, uh, kind of brownish gray color for the joints and things like that that we've seen on other versions of kits a lot out recently. And then we've got runner A2, which is a copy of this section of the runner here. This space in the runner right here is where I'm guessing the parts go for the P-Bandai regular blue version Akzaku. I won't be getting that kit. Uh, I'm just not really that in love with it. It's not that different from this kit, so I didn't really bother. Then we have runner B2, no B1. This is just a 144 scale Zaku origin backpack part. So this is not a new backpack for this kit. It's the same backpack that we've seen on a previous version of a origin Zaku. I can't think of which one offhand. There's a few different origin Zaku backpacks, but anyway, here's one of them. Runner C1 is again, new parts specifically for this kit. Looks like mostly weapons parts and then a couple parts in there for the body as well. No C2. So on this one, again, I'm guessing there'll be a couple new parts added onto this runner probably for the P-Bandai variation. Runner D1 is our very familiar joint parts that we've seen in pretty much every Xeon mobile suit in the HD The Origin line almost. And then Runner D2 is a copy of that for the joints in the arms and the legs, all molded in that standard brownish, uh, silverish, metallicish kind of gray color. Runner E1 is more of that very dark gray, basically black color here, all new parts for the Aktazaku. So you can see, yeah, the shoulder parts, the shoulder shield and the shoulder armor, while they look very similar, probably almost exactly the same as the regular Zaku, as well as the upper arms as well. Um, they didn't bother putting in the runner from like the regular Zaku 2 uh, origin kit. They just threw those onto this runner here. But one thing you'll notice about the shoulder shield is that it does have the little spots in there. So if you wanted to plug the bazooka ammo, onto there, you can do that with this kit. So that's pretty cool. They left that design feature on there. And then we have runner E2, which is a copy of this section of the runner here. And then finally, runner F, another very familiar runner if you've built any of the other HD The Origin uh, Xeon Zaku kits. Just the hands and heat hawk parts here, just molded in standard gray. So that's it for unboxing the Act Zaku. Really cool, interesting variation. Like I said, it's nice to have uh, another Zaku in the Origin line, but it's not quite the same. This one actually is a almost entirely new kit, so that'll be a little bit more refreshing. We'll take a look at this. I'm sure it'll be a really fun, great kit. So I'll see you guys in the review. If you do have any other questions or comments, leave those down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to USA Gundam Store. Check the link below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>